fall is here and for those people that are big lovers of the Halloween season or just fall in general I mean this is the greatest time of the year especially growing up and living in the Midwest um, I mean summer's awesome I love spring but fall there's nothing like it um, the changing of the leaves everything looks cool you got the the corn everywhere that's high and dry it's just such a cool feeling like you're uh, you really get into that Halloween mood you know and there's nothing better than during the month of October to make a great monster score for your collection a lot of monster mask guys I know they're all hyped up for October they're all hyped up in October and they're looking all the time to get this great mask you know during the season during the month of Halloween and uh, today I'm getting one of the greatest monster scores in all my years of collecting I cannot believe what I'm going to buy right now and uh, it's something I've been after for quite a few years it's not a mask it's not a monster toy it is a rare monster pinball machine One of the rarest of all. I'm gonna take you to see this guy's collection. This guy doesn't have 10 machines, he doesn't have 20, he doesn't have 40, he doesn't have 50. He has 90 pinball machines. 90. From 1960 through like 1980 or 81. It's insane. Um, I happened to buy another machine recently. Yeah, I'm doing my basement been a, a long project because guys just disappear on you and never want to work again so it's been an on and off project for like four and a half years and it's finally coming to an end it's getting there you know and I got I started getting the pinball machines I've been after and uh, so I first saw this machine in a movie when I was young a great car movie by the name of American Graffiti. Um, if you remember the scene where Richard Dreyfus was in the uh, little arcade with the Pharaohs and as he's talking to the arcade owner that he knew, the Pharaohs were breaking into the machines and stealing all the quarters. One of those machines was the 1971 Vampire by Bally. And you just see it in the background of that shot. Um, Years later, I saw photos of it and what the sides of the cabinet look like. And it is hands down one of the coolest. If you're a monster fanatic, this is one of the coolest pinball machines of all time. Um, it has, the back glass is crazy with this crazy vampire on it and, and skeletons and stuff. But the cabinet has these stenciled tombstones along the side and it it is so, you monster guys will know, it is one of the coolest things I've ever seen.
I'm still learning it. This Paragon is a crazy wide body. My haunted house like is a System 80 Gottlieb, but this thing is, I swear it's wider, but it's shorter. It's like the weirdest pinball machine shape and size I've ever seen. Well, one of them, look at that. Nuts, and the artwork is so neat on there. Too bad there's a glare, but God, is that neat. So intricate, all the, the illustrations, you know, just awesome. That is a rare, rare machine. So cool. I could look at this stuff all day. Isn't that, isn't that cool? Look at that side art, that stenciled side art down there. Just awesome. He just put an NOS play field in this one too. Restore the entire machine top to bottom, inside and out. Bulletproof, brand new. Uh, he got the play field in the 80s and just finished the restoration on this one. Just awesome. I mean, the thing the thing looks like it's it's brand new. Did you say this was an NOS play field in the eight ball as well? Correct. Wow. Look at that. You can find, if you're lucky, find an old play field, never put in a machine. And that's what this is. It looks brand new, brand new eight ball. All restored. All right, guys, I'm here in a secret airplane hangar in a cool pinball collection. This is only part of the collection. It's not going to be a big secret anymore, though, because this is going to be featured on a great TV show. And you'll see John's amazing pinball collection. He has something like 90 pinball machines. And the one that um, I've been hunting down for years is sitting right here. And this is the first time I've ever seen one in person. So finally, I'm going to take you guys to see the 1971 Vampire by Bally. This is the first time I've ever laid eyes on one in person, which is just nuts. I've always stared at little photos of these things on the internet, seen one in a movie like I was telling you, but this is just incredible. I can't, <laughs> I kind of just started laughing when I saw it. Like I can't, I can't believe I'm going to be able to buy one. I ran across a couple of people out there that actually had them, but they would never sell them. And I never even got to see them in person. They had sent me a couple pictures and stuff, but this is truly a rare, rare pinball machine. 1971. And uh, it's the artwork. The artwork on this thing is so cool. You know, they're not the most exciting game to play. They're fun. There's definitely more exciting pinball machines to play, but the artwork is everything. And I think what I love the most about it, besides that, that incredible back glass, is the side art, the stenciled tombstones. Unfortunately, we can't see it too well here, but I'm going to show you guys a photograph of what that looks like with the skull and the bats. And this is just amazing. This is going to look so awesome down there in the collection. And it's going to be in the, uh, in the old tiki bar that's coming up. So. I couldn't wait to get here and show you guys what I'm buying today because uh, this is truly one of the rarest pinball machines there is. And John is going to go through the entire thing for me inside and out, restoring all of the electronics and uh, leaving the play field. Everything will be original, but all new flippers, pop bumpers will be rebuilt. Everything underneath gone through and it's gonna be bulletproof, which is gonna be so nice to have a machine like that because, you know, once these things start getting problems, I don't know how to fix them. <laughs> so luckily there's guys out there like John who can do things like that. And he 
uh, by the looks of his collection, he knows what he's doing. I like these glasses because you don't have to slide it out. So that's the first one. See the fuse holders? They're all just destroyed. Yeah. I put all new fuses in. I'll high tap the transformer. I take this whole guts. All this comes out and I bring it up, bring it up to level so I can see and I clean everything. All the Jones plugs inside and out. They'll be nice and shiny. This stepper, uh, all clean. This will be, I'll go over all this. All these pop bumpers, new coils, new new pop bumper body skirts, new new flip. This is a Gottlieb. That's not even, that right. doesn't even yeah, belong there. Belong in there. No. So, I mean, just I stuff like that. I recognize that. Yeah. yeah. So, just I'll put new end of strokes. Wow. Uh, this uh, has bell, so there's no chime unit in this. And then, of course, the back box, you know, I, I go through that. It would be uh, bulletproof then. Yep. New post, rubber rings, new bulbs. I don't reuse bulbs. All the bulbs come out and I put new ones in. It's actually in not a bad play field, huh? No, it's a beautiful wow. shape. I mean, it really is. Other than that, uh, this, this here, a little there, and then on the glass. That's right. about it. But if you keep your eye out, for this molding or even they have stencils possibly an original one yeah you know so try like fireball has this four million bc has this exactly so it's a similar my other machine they came out at the same time i think yeah. this and the four million were like 71. oh and i put new caps on so you have brand new brand new caps everything wow it'd be, it'd be beautiful when it's done it's gonna be so amazing i will not go to a house Either I tell people, pay now or pay later, but you're going to pay. You're going to pay. So you might as well get it done right the first time. No, no I and, get it. And I do have an unconditional guarantee that something will go wrong. It's pinball, <laughs> okay? But the odds are in your favor if everything is done, you know. This is unbelievable. I'm glad I got to come here and film this. And most of all, I am so happy. I finally got my holy grail pinball machine coming home. The 1971 Bally Vampire. Unbelievable. This is so, so cool. I'm so glad you guys got to see this. I go through some cool stuff and this is definitely up there on the list. I love seeing things like this. And I know you guys love it too. When I could bring you to cool places and see neat collections out there and there's an airplane so wasn't that amazing my god I bought a 1971 Valley vampire never thought I would find it and I had to come to Kevin's house to celebrate because now if you remember the place last time in the other video it is way crazier now he's got three Elvira machines, he's got all three. He got the House of Horrors last night. It's all set up. I'm about to play that. And probably, there's this is all different now. He's also got Halloween. So I got a lot more to go. I only have seven, seven or eight machines now. I still gotta get my haunted house done. This is driving me insane. But in time, in time. So I hope you guys like that. That was something that uh, I never thought I would acquire. And uh, hopefully by Christmas time, it'll be down in my basement and we'll be playing Vampire. So I'll see you guys tonight with more mask stuff. Bye.